Today is September 5th, 2017. This is Tanks Vlog, wrapping up the day in sports. Well, baseball's most bitter rivalry took another turn on Tuesday as the Yankees accused the Boston Red Sox of spying during a series in August. Which the Red Sox basically said, yeah, we did it. Now, the only difference here is the Red Sox used the Apple Watch to spy on the Yankees. Now, I don't know what baseball is going to do to punish them, but... This is as old as the game itself. In 1951, the New York Giants, under the guise of Leo DeRocher, set up uh, somebody in their center field clubhouse with a telescope to spy on the uh, singles then. So, <laughs> this is baseball. Baseball, there's always been some sort of <clears throat> push-the-envelope cheating that's always happened in the game. Uh, the... Apple Watch gives it a different spin, but this has always happened in this game. The Red Sox could have used that Apple Watch a little bit more today because it took them 19 innings to beat the uh, <coughs> Blue Jays. Uh, they scored only two runs in the ninth, and then they scored one run in the uh, 19th. Their offense has been severely lacking, and it's the only reason why they haven't pulled away from the Yankees. <coughs> Meanwhile, the Yankees lost a heartbreaker today because... Uh, Dylan Patances has got a lot of Armando Benitez in him. I mean, he had a two-out walk and then gave up the uh, walk-off homer to Manny Machado. <coughs> this is why the Yankees just won't catch the Red Sox. They'll get the—I I still think they'll get the wild card, but there's something lacking. They have—they don't have that killer instinct, that finishing touch that a veteran team would have. Elsewhere in baseball, the Cleveland Indians, Jose Ramirez, hottest player in baseball, hottest team in baseball, 13 straight wins now, 11 game lead in the Central. You know, it's like right now, it's like the Red Sox, it's like the Indians smell the finish line. They now got, um, if they uh, play the Red Sox, they'll have home field advantage in the uh, division series, and that would be the matchup if the season ended today. The Astros today, uh, had Justin Verlander make his debut and it was a successful one as they beat the Mariners in Seattle. So the wild card is still tight, but the uh, divisions, not so much. And the uh, Yankees, that was just, just a killer loss today. In the National League, the uh, Washington Nationals are putting the finishing touches on the Eastern Division. Uh, Steven Strasburg with a big win today over the second place Marlins. The Mets, unwatchable, that's what they are, unwatchable, in every way, now even Jacob DeGrom is pitching terrible, this team has become unbearable. And they are totally unwatchable now. In the Central Division, the Chicago Cubs, they just keep letting teams hang around. Dirt straight lost. Lost to the Pirates today. Although the Brewers haven't been able to capitalize on it. So that's still a three and a half game lead. So things are really starting to get interesting in baseball. With a marathon today was in Fenway. Today's three stars are Jake Odorizzi, Odorizzi of the Tampa Bay Rays, who had six innings of no-hit baseball in getting a win against the Twins. Jose Martinez, who had three for three with a pair of homers and leading the Cardinals over the Padres. And John Hicks, who had four RBIs as the Tigers clobbered the Royals. In the uh, sports birthdays today, let's give a birthday shout out to one of the only Mets to stay healthy all year, Jerry Blevins, who turns 34. He's one of two Mets that have been on the roster from opening day to today. On Sports Encyclopedia, we've just finished the update on the Oakland Raiders, so check out the Oakland Raiders 
team history, 2016 summary, big comeback year for them, and the pitcher gallery. Although now they're a lame duck team, so it's going to be interesting to see how that happens as they start getting ready to go to Las Vegas in a few years. And at Barstool Sports, our on this date feature is the 1992 Philadelphia Eagles season opening win over the New Orleans Saints. This was an emotional day in Philadelphia. The Eagles retired number 99 in honor of Jerome Brown, who died in the offseason. And it was also the first game back for Randall Cunningham coming back from a torn ACL. So check out the full story of Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.